It was a day of tension and drama at the Victoria Stadium after a roller coaster week for local football. This was an entirely new team arriving on the rock, consisting of some loaned players from rival clubs in Kosovo, in order to meet UEFA's matchday criteria. The day before their rescheduled match, the squad arrived with certificates from the Kosovan Public Health Institute, confirming that they'd all tested negative for the virus. However, this is not a UEFA-approved facility. In a replay of last Tuesday's events, local testing carried out by UEFA-approved SINLAB contradicted the results of the Kosovan lab, meaning that under the strict laws currently in force in Gibraltar, the whole team were told to isolate in their hotel. A UEFA official arrived for a meeting with the civil contingencies coordinator to discuss the developments, and the decision was taken at the 6pm kickoff time to cancel the match. But the decision as to which team would progress to the next round of the competition was passed on to UEFA's control, ethics and disciplinary body. But questions remained as to how a Kosovan side has twice tested negative for COVID in their home country, only to test positive a day later in Gibraltar. Excuse me, sir, can you tell me why UEFA has allowed tests to be carried out at a non-UEFA approved lab in Kosovo? Thank you. Pristina left the rock shortly afterwards. Both teams issued contradicting statements via their social media. FC Pristina claimed it was the Gibraltar authorities who once again called off the match. However, Lincoln said the decision was down to UEFA, supported by the government, which later issued its own statement. Number 6 confirmed that the decision to cancel the Europa League fixture between Lincoln and Pristina was taken by UEFA. In a statement, number six explained that the internationally accepted rules on isolation are clear for those who've tested positive for COVID-19, as well as those who've been in close contact with them. It says the Gibraltar authorities informed UEFA that this meant the visiting side should be in self-isolation, and for this reason UEFA held that the match could not go ahead. As well as being tested by UEFA's official contractor, the visiting side was also tested by the local authorities. Clearly I cannot divulge personal information that we hold on behalf of anyone, just as I'm sure nobody would want me to tell everyone what um, uh, anyone would have been screened. We have to protect confidentiality. But we acted on the information that we had and uh, we took the appropriate action that was necessary. I feel sorry for the lads, they came to do something. Uh, I'm told uh, by um, the people that swabbed them that some of them had red throats and that actually they probably were symptomatic, even if they've claimed they've been asymptomatic at the time. Maybe they've just been a bit frightened of saying so because there was an awful lot riding on coming. After what seemed like an eternity, UEFA's decision was handed down just before six o'clock this evening. Lincoln Red Imps will go through to the next round of the Europa League competition and the local side was awarded a 3-0 win over FC Pristina. Speaking to GBC after the news broke, the club said it had been a nerve-wracking weekend, but they were quietly confident that UEFA would rule in their favour. Well, obviously, you know, we are overwhelmed with the decision taken by UEFA. Deep down, we were expecting it, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, the opponents, um, Pristina, they were putting up a case, uh, mitigating the circumstances, etc., and again, at the end of the day, you know, you have to wait for the official confirmation, which uh, we just received about, what, two or three minutes ago. As well as footballing pride, just over £200,000 was also at stake. With the saga now firmly behind them, the team will now welcome Union Titus Batange of Luxembourg to the Victoria Stadium on Thursday.